Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll show you a visual management tool to represent, at a glance, the deliveries planned in an agile development. The graph information is generated in the product backlog. The graph is drawn on a Cartesian quadrant, which represents in its vertical or y axis the effort, measured in history points, and on the horizontal axis the time, represented in sprints and/or the corresponding dates. Let's see below how this graph is constructed. Let's assume that we perform two-week sprints and that the average speed of our team is 300 story points. That means that on each sprint, we develop tasks that require an effort of 300 points on average. So, in two sprints, we can achieve 600 points. In three sprints, 900. This way, it's easy to draw the line of a predictable speed of our project. Let's now assume that the product owner has planned to have the minimum viable product, or version 1.0, when he has the first four stories on the product backlog. The estimates for these four stories add up to 700 points, which in the graph project show in the horizontal axis that they will be done by the end of the third sprint. If the margin of deviation from the average speed is known, the graph can be complemented with the speed lines that would project an optimistic estimate, according to the best times recorded by the team, and the line of pessimistic estimation, reflecting the slower times. This way we can project on the horizontal axis the three estimates, pessimistic, probable, and optimistic. As the product backlog is a living document subject to frequent changes, this graph allows to quickly represent the forecast every time new milestones or versions of the product are raised. The graph, besides visualizing the product backlog in delivery dates, is also a useful tool for monitoring the evolution of deliveries. To do this, it's enough to also plot the actual speed sprint after sprint. In this image, the speed is represented by the red line which shows the degree of compliance immediately, according to its trend with relation to the expected speed line. 